peeps? Welcome to today's vlog. Just got to the outlet with Nathan here. And we are at the Portland outlet this time. The airport one, not the Southeast Portland one, which is the better one, but it's too far. Yeah. Um, so we are here. We're going to see what we can find. We're going to hopefully also head to the Vancouver one. And then we got to be back at the store by one because that's when he's got to leave. Yep. So we went to the store this morning, dropped off his car, and then came here. So hopefully we can find some cool stuff. Many, many minutes later. All right, guys. So we just left. Um, if we go to the Vancouver one, we're not going to have too much time because it's getting a little bit late. I don't know how late you can you can stay, but I'm not on a huge schedule, so we can kind of play it by feel. Okay, we'll go through our stuff pretty quick here. I got a Days and Confused and Fast Times Ultimate Party Collection for the store. It was three bucks. We'll sell it for about eight. I grabbed a Nightmare Before Christmas Blu-ray. We'll sell that for about eight as well. And then another Ghostbusters one and two double DVD pack. Also got a giant Mario plush. He got this one, but gave it to me. It's a Lego Exo Force, but it's opened and it's most likely missing some pieces. But still, I think it's worth grabbing, even if I just bundle it with a bunch of other Legos. Got a Wii guitar. I got a couple Nintendo Switch Joy-Con steering wheel things. I got one of these little 3DS charging cradles, a Mortal Kombat 4 Shark Bite, Shark Bite key card, and then a Microsoft mouse with a receiver. This is about 40 bucks on Amazon. This little Fujifilm charger is about seven after fees, and then I got an Xbox remote. A 3DS charger, it's kind of ugly, it's just gonna go in the $3 bin. And then a whole bag of dollar toys and like a Big Hero 6 plush. I'm not gonna go through all these. There's nothing too special in here. Um, the only one that's kind of cool is this. This is like a, a character for like a model train setup. And she comes, it's like the farmer's wife. She comes with the, the her husband as well, originally. And the pair is selling for like 25. So I don't know about this. I'll probably post it up for like 10 bucks and just kind of see what happens. But I got a couple pop figures in here, a rabbit. I got some Pokemon ones, some dinosaurs. And then uh, this is the big one, but a bunch of these, all the other ones are really small. It says Frost Giant, uh, 2009 Wizards. Um, so I don't know, nothing too special. So then I got uh, an AV cable, always an extra of those. Uh, two of these uh, phone sets, they go for about 20 uh, on eBay with you have the charger and stuff and they work. Uh, an Xbox 360 chat pad, actually no, this is a PS4 chat pad. Um, nice. A uh, bunch of movies. Um, I wanted to keep Spirited Away. Um, don't really want to go through all of them. I got a Wii Fit Plus in here. And the coolest thing I can't really get to. Let's see if I can try to do this pretty quickly. Do a lot of stuff. Yeah. I got this little uh, handmade, homemade Zelda sign. It's kind of cool. Uh, that's basically it. Mostly movies is what I grab. He got a lot of movies. Um, so we're going to head to the Vancouver one real quick and probably just pick up scraps, but it should still be fun. Yeah. All right, so we just got here. We got to be a little quick. Um, he's got maybe 45 minutes tops, yeah, something maybe, like that. Maybe an hour. But so we're at the Vancouver one now. Sorry we're not like doing any filming. It's just I can't film the outlet, you know, and show you cool stuff every time because it's always just digging through trash. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty much what it is. And it's it's so much easier to dig and find stuff with two hands rather than one. So we're going to go in here, see what we can find, and we'll show you guys once we leave. A few moments later. So we just left. Uh, we have a funny story we'll tell um, once we go through our stuff because it happened right at the end. But we didn't get very much here. I grabbed four CDs for the lot that I'm building. We have Van Halen, Beatles, another Beatles. Uh, this is a, like a Japanese import. This one I might sell separately because it goes for like 20. And then we have a flogging molly, which is sealed, but it's got a crack, big crack on the front. So it's just for the lot as well. Got a catchphrase, little dollar toy. This is from 2003, so it's not that old. DS light charger, 3DS charger. $15 remote or 12, and then 20, $25 remote couple random cables, HDMI, a couple power cables, $20 Ryobi charger for eBay, 
and then I spent 10.07 total. And you can show your stuff. Right. I spent like 17 total. I got a VHS rewinder. These go for about like 10 to 15 plus shipping if they work. Uh, Fat 360 power cable goes for about 20, and it goes in a prior rail flat rate box, so we'll get about 12 after that. I got 20 bucks for that? Yeah. Dude, I've, got, I've got like 100 of them. 20 bucks free shipping and put a pad of flat rate. It sells really Dang. well. Uh, Nerf long shot scope, these go for about like 15, and this weighs like nothing, so. Another little wee, whatever they're called. Condom. Condom, yeah. <laughs> Who wants to stay on their channel if you want to <laughs> uh, One DVD, uh, this was going for about like eight. Uh, and then two seasons of the Gilmore Girls. Uh, these are five each and they go for about 10 after fees. And that was it. Empty case and a soda pop as well. And then as we were leaving at the front, they have these, um, they have like empty boxes you can grab so you can yeah. put your stuff in them. So I was filling them up and then Cooper walked up. He, yeah, he, was, he put his stuff in the box and he lifted it. And for a second, I thought that this fell out of his box, and it didn't. I found a Switch game just sitting there. It has the label ripped off, so I'm not sure what it is. We're gonna go to the store, pop it in. Hopefully, it works. I mean, it's in good condition, other than having no label. But that was pretty yeah, funny. Pretty it was just game. sitting there, like. <laughs> so cool. Let's head back to the store. All right, we're gonna check out what this Switch game is. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> Sonic Your fantasies can't ever be quenched, can they? I found it at the outlet, Kyle. Oh, nice. But it has no label, so we didn't know what it was. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <Nice. laughs> cool. And this is your stuff. Oh, oh. that's my... What? Yeah, man. Thank you. <laughs> I was told to bring it back here. Oh, thank you. So you're taking off soon? Yeah, probably. I'll oh, grab a couple small things and then take off. Cool. Get back to Richland and then tomorrow head back to Montana. So awesome, man! Well, thank you for coming and hanging out. It was yeah. fun. Thank you for having me. It was awesome. Yeah, we'll have to do it again. Yep, uh, definitely. <laughs> All right, man. Bye. All right, bye. -bye. Okay, so we have some packages here. Um, Cooper keeps forgetting to open them, and I wanted to open them. So we'll start for this one. Um, there is unfortunately like a stamp over the person's name. Um, it's probably on the note. It is, but I don't know how to say it. But it's from Portugal. Um, and it says, what up peeps? From Portugal. Greetings from Portugal. I'm sending this letter to thank all of you for the awesome daily videos you upload. They have great handwriting. Look at this. <laughs> they go live at around 9 p.m. here in Portugal, so I always watch them after dinner, which is a great way to finish my day. Good luck with the story expansion, all the best. I do not know how to say your name. Let me see. Um, Let me see. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's a tough one. Ciao. Oh. Naven. Oh. Come here. Naven might know. I don't know. know what A with a squiggly is. Is it A <laughs> or I? An A with a squiggly? <laughs> do you know how to read that? <laughs> you didn't even doesn't know. That's crazy. Okay, bye. I think it's Jow. <clears throat> I'm not sure, but I. It's J O A O with a squiggly on the A. It's John. <laughs> or Josh. <laughs> Spelled kind of weird. Maybe. I mean, you never know. Um, well, thank you so much. It looks like there are a couple items in here. That's how it's spelled. Joao. We have. It looks like 25th anniversary Pokemon stickers. Oh, they're cool. These are cool. So we got Totodile. Oh, these are 25th anniversary, but they say 2021. Oh, these are the McDon McDonald's ones. So we got Totodile. What? Uh, they have McDonald's in Portugal? Cinda <laughs> they have McDonald's literally in the world. <laughs> yeah. Cindicle. Not in Antarctica. Uh, okay. I don't remember this one's name. And then we got what? Pichu. Chikorita. Chikorita. And then it looks like a pack of Pokemon cards. And I think these, I don't know... These are the McDonald's ones that everybody went crazy for. <gasps> you want to open it? No. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, <laughs> people love that. Come on. Should we open I it? Don't open it. Okay. Open it. It's not like, like it's paper. a $100 pack or something. These are like made of paper. They're not like plastic. Or it looks like all. like wax kind of paper. When you open it, you take the card that's first and then you put it in the back. That way when you're showing it, that's the last one. Devin, do you watch a lot of these? <laughs> no. There's only four cards in there though. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So wait. <laughs> no, you're just, just yeah, whatever way. I think it's good. It's not a, it's not a regular pack. I'm not that much of an expert. 
Okay. So we have. We have Linton. Okay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> we have Poplio. <laughs> He's just all of the set. <laughs> we have Charmander. I wonder if Pikachu will be the last one. Nope. We have Snivy. <gasps> Snivy. 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 Yeah. Snivy. I like it. Yeah. Pretty cool. Thank you so much. Those stickers are really cool. I like those a lot. Yeah, we're going to put those on the file cabinets out yes, there. Yes, for sure. Look we put all the stickers he's out so there. He's cute. He's got a Master Ball. What? The master Ball is purple, right? That's a Great Ball. Great Ball. Great Ball is blue. Mm. What's, the, what's the black one with the yellow? <laughs> isn't that one like an ultra, ultra Ball? And then the white and red one, I don't isn't know what that, that like one a is. repeat ball? That one? That's a premiere ball. Mm. Why do you know so much about this? <laughs> I've played like a lot of them. <clears throat> okay, okay, next one. Next one. Um, I don't know who this is from because it actually is taped over your name. <laughs> and uh, I can't get it off of there. I'm it sorry. just ripped. It did. It says Texas. Yeah, I can't get it. I can see your address, <laughs> but not your name. Oh. What? What's it? Oh! Okay, I know who this is from. So, this is Open Me. No, but they should be to the right of the computer. That's where David Gloves. Or this. Yeah. Gloves. This guy brought in some, uh, kind of dirty stuff. <laughs> I'm just gonna wear gloves while I do this. Okay. okay. Something you're gonna be jealous of. <laughs> Ryan would be jealous. <laughs> okay, so there is a certificate of authenticity on here. That's pretty legit. Let's and, see it. Oh, sorry. It is the signature of the person who played Leon or did the voice acting of Leon in Resident Evil 6 and it says to Cooper and Abby it looks like it was wet when it was put in here so I think it, it who cares it's awesome oh yeah it was just like a little bit wet but it's just on this it's <laughs> very cool and then there's a certificate of authenticity Authen authenticate the signature of Jason on June 25th Whoa. that's really cool so we're going to be putting that up in the store yes this is amazing. Thank you so much. They like sent this to me on Instagram. They're like, hey, like I just got this. And I was just like, yeah. Like, <laughs> I was just like, I feel kind of like a poser because I like I've never played a Resident Evil game other than the village. And I played like 30 games a month. <laughs> so I feel bad. But it's really, really cool. That is really cool. Thank you. Yes. Thank you so much. We're gonna definitely have this like put up. And it like fits I think this is a comic book sleeve. I don't know for sure. But mm. it's amazing. So we have another one. This is from C. Rainey in Florida. And... What? What is that for? I don't know. Oh, okay. So it looks like this person um, may not like have access to like online. Um, but it says, hello, I've heard about Double Jump video games for a while now. I've been a supporter of small video game businesses since forever, and I noticed three items that you have that I'm interested in. I've been a fan of, been an Elder Scrolls fan since Morrowind back in the day of 2002. Elder Scrolls series have helped me get through a lot of hard times in life. I was wondering if I may order the following. Two copies of Elder Scrolls 5 uh, for PS4 Special Edition and a poster. If possible, I prefer paying the old-fashioned way with cash. I do hope this covers all the items plus shipping, and any cash can please include any change. In package. Yeah, any change included with package shipping, please. My best wishes to y'all. We really do need more video game stores that sell physical media. Please ship this to this address. So, it looks like this is more than enough to cover that. So we will get that shipped out for them. Um, yes, we will. But please, please don't do this again. Yeah. <laughs> so the big thing about this is that. Um, like obviously the postal service can go through your mail um but money is not covered under insurance if you ship money out like even if you put insurance on the package and the money gets lost like they will not refund you so like if this got lost like you don't get your money back yeah another thing is these letters go through a rolling sorter that is about this tall 
so anything that is thicker than a certain amount will get caught and it'll rip open and that's how you like lose like jewelry so like jewelry that's sent this way usually gets lost because it gets caught in that sorter but <clears throat> we will get that sent out to you if you watch the videos but in the future <laughs> no, yeah <laughs> yeah this but, yeah. is yeah this is not a good way to do it because not only could those items have already sold yeah and then we're just sending back money again or you know whatever it is but it's it's a lot more work for us unfortunately at this point than to just we'll, ship an order from the website we'll do this, you know this yeah once. things happen it's okay okay so this is a package from josh in wisconsin oh <laughs> so when we pull orders sometimes we'll grab all the orders and one item is stuck between two things and mm -hmm. we don't remove it so this was actually stuck between a uh, game and this was somebody's and we had to refund them for it this is what up beats i ordered some n64 manuals and somehow also received a pokemon 2 manual which i didn't order so i'm just sending it back so i can find it to home keep up the great rubric and then i think they they got double stickers as well so we'll get that taken care of and then i think we have one more box. so whoever ordered this did get a refund but if that was you we're gonna put it back in the system so if you still want it you can you can make the order again sorry about that <laughs> We knew we had shipped it to someone because we couldn't find it, and we we knew, we we it. knew it had gotten pulled, but then we couldn't find it. But that makes sense if you ordered other N sixty four manuals. What? Those are just resurfacing pads. <laughs> we do have one other box. Let here. me open some. So we have these ones here to open as well. This is from Limited Run. I have not made a wholesale order yet, so this is stuff that I had just ordered for my personal collection. We have Trover Saves the Universe. Billy is texting you. I saw Billy at the outlet earlier. And then this one I just ordered because it's the first limited run PS5 game. And that's Cthulhu Saves Christmas. So that's the only reason I got it is because it's the number one, you know. And then we have cards. And we also have Trover Saves the Universe Special Edition for the Switch. Pretty cool. And then, this is from Target. Oh, why did you do that? I hate these bubble mailers. We have two more Halo 5s sealed. Part of the buy two, get one thing that we did. I already opened this one. I didn't take anything out because I thought it was um, the bags we put the controllers in, but it's not. These are two new Switch games. Well, one new Switch game. It's Golden Force. Hmm. So we have five copies of that, and then we also have five copies of the limited edition version. Nice. So there's actually six in here, but one of them. I was going to say, are there five copies <laughs> or are there four copies? But there's six copies. But wait, why are two of them different? They're just flipped around. Oh, okay. Yeah. The other side is the same. So yeah, I'm gonna keep one of each, but we'll have five. And these are ones that are, that. <laughs> <clears throat> these ones don't say they're limited. It's from the same company that we got the Shmup Collection and Guns of Mercy. These ones don't say that they're limited, but I'm pretty sure that they still are. They just don't have the sticker. Okay, these ones are numbered out of 2000. Are these ones? These ones are not. So only the special edition ones are numbered, but um, we should be able to reorder these if you guys are interested, if they, if they sell out quick or something. Um, but can't order reorder them forever. And then I think this is, I don't know what this is. It's addressed to Double Jump, not to me. So I don't think it's an eBay one. I know we have some stuff coming though, right? From people we've made mm -hmm. deals with through email. Yeah. Oh, it's a just resurfacing order. Oh my god. <laughs> Not too exciting. This one, though, is from Strictly Limited. This is also collection stuff that I ordered. We have... Which game? I thought that was another coffee talk and I was about to scream because we ordered like five of those <laughs> on accident. This is Bite the Bullet for the Switch. 
And yes, I got two of them. That is so creepy looking. It just looks like a blue Hulk. It looks like a blue Hulk <laughs> with underbite. <laughs> it looks like a blue Hulk mixed with a Titan. He's got a good dude. Yeah. From Attack on Titan. Mm. My favorite anime. That anime scares you. <laughs> That's why it's my favorite. And there's a couple stickers and stuff that came with it. I got two copies though. Because that's just how I roll. Yeah. And then from the stuff that Nathan traded in on Monday, there's two broken We already showed consoles. those. Oh, I didn't know if you did or not. Yeah, they were sitting out. Um, but I will go through and, and show okay, all this cool. other stuff. Bye. It is almost 10 p.m., guys. It is literally 9.50 p.m. Abby just left, and I'm staying to finish what I gotta finish. So, all the stuff you're seeing here is stuff that Nathan traded in, but also any of the trade-ins from today. So I have sorted everything. I've mixed everything together. So whatever was traded in to, for, from today is mixed in with the stuff Nathan traded in on Monday. So we're going to go through and take a look at everything. There is one more trade that's out um, by the computer that came in. It was the last trade of the day, which is a really awesome collection that we're going to go through last. We also have another package to open. I have to film my eBay stuff. There's a lot still to do. Um, so I'm going to be here for at least probably another hour and a half minimum. And I'm coming in late tomorrow because of that. So we're going to go through. I did not sort these by price. There's way too much stuff here to try to do that. So we're just going through randomly. So first up, trade it in. We got a bunch of Transformers toys. Most of these are between $40 and $50. I think this one was a little bit more. Um, they're all like early to mid 2000s kind of stuff. And then we also got the Megatron MP5 masterpiece one here. This is opened, but fully complete. And then the MP5 upgrade package is also opened, but fully complete. And then we also have these. This is the special stuff. Well, except for this one. There's a Star Wars one. It's also fairly cheap, like in that $40, $50 range. And then... We have this really awesome Batman Shadows of Gotham City like figure pack, which I think this one's really, really cool. Um, and by the way, I think the majority of these are going to be posted on eBay because I don't have room to put them out here for sale. And they'd probably sit around for a long time as well. Uh, but these ones are definitely going to be sold here. First, we have this guy. Japanese uh, Megatron gun. Megatron, right? Yeah, Megatron. Um, super, super cool. <laughs> and this is factory sealed. This is very expensive. I think this one was like two, 250 to 300 something like that. Um, so this will be sold here. Um, same with the Batman and the rest of these. Um, this one is not very expensive, but this is the Robots in Disguise uh, Scourge tanker truck. Also sealed. All of this stuff is factory sealed, by the way. Um, and then... Also sealed, we have the uh, Transformers Robots in Disguise 20th Anniversary DVD Edition, Optimus Prime. This thing is really, really cool, and it's pretty heavy. Um, and then we have this one. Ignore the Fantasy Star photocopy stuff. That's, that's recycling. It just happened to be in there. Um, but that... Where's the recycling bin at? <laughs> this is a very expensive transformer this one is 1983 hasbro takara um devin was trying to transform it a little bit so it's not really in its gun form that well right now but this is very expensive i don't i don't think this goes with it or maybe it does maybe it does i don't know uh but that 85 five dollar price tag is an old one um this is a very expensive one. This is the most expensive Transformer that was included, and this one doesn't even have the box. This, I'm going to be posting for 400 bucks. That's my plan. Um, it's kind of hard to look it up and get a really accurate price because most of the ones that are posted or sold on eBay are missing parts. This one has everything, as you can see, and possibly even the paperwork. I don't know if that's for it just yet, but... It's in really good condition, too. The The chrome paint is not, like, worn away at all. It's pretty good overall. So, um, yeah, this is really, really, really cool. So, 
that's it for the toys. That was all from one guy. This, this stuff was not from Nathan. This stuff was traded in today. I'm going to try to put these back in here so they don't get messed up at all. And also so I can stand over here when I'm filming. So that was all the toys. And then we're just going to go through. So there's an Xbox magazine, PlayStation magazine. Um, the Xbox magazine is not in the system. The PlayStation magazine is. And then we also have Crash Bandicoot 2 Strategy Guide, Tekken 3 Guide, Tomb Raider Guide, Tomb Raider 2, Tomb Raider 3, Devil May Cry, Fallout 4, Crash Bandicoot Warped, and another Crash 2. So those are all the strategy guides and one magazine. There's a, a black DS Lite in the box. We have a bunch of handheld games here. Madagascar, Ratchet & Clank, I Spy. Super Smash Bros, uh, World Series Baseball, Top Gun, Wipeout, Green Eggs and Ham, Brain Age, Rabbids T uh, TV Party, Club Penguin, Lego City, Need for Speed Carbon, a PAL import uh, Wizardry, or no, Japanese import Wizardry Empire, uh, Heroes 2, Heroes of Might and Magic 2, uh, Donkey Kong Game Boy Japanese import, Scrabble, Codename Steam, Spore, Rabbids Go Home, Dave Mira, and Columns. And then two movies, uh, Pokemon Advance, this is a factory sealed one, Abandoned Ship, and then also sealed um, Star Wars Trilogy. And then these PS1 games are supposed to be over here. <clears throat> For 360, we have Battlefield Bad Company, Gears of War 3, Skyrim. Like I said, these are not in order of price. Bully Scholarship Edition, Gears of War 2, uh, whatever that one is. I tried to pronounce it last time. Hawks, Ace Combat 6, Disneyland Connect, Kano Lynch Deadman, Lego Indiana Jones, Kung Fu Panda, and Fable 2. And then for the original Xbox, we have an import, uh, UK import of Gunmetal, which that cover looks really cool. And then we have Tony Hawk's Project 8, NCAA 06, Cabela's Dangerous Hunts, Harry Potter Chamber of Secrets, Sega GT Jet Set, Need for Speed Underground 2, Secret Weapons Over Normandy, 4x4 Evo 2. For PlayStation 4, just three games here, uh, Crimes and Punishment, Sherlock Holmes, Kingdom Hearts All in One, and Days Gone. And then for Xbox One, we have Madden NFL 19, Madden NFL 17, NHL 18, Destiny Taken King, FIFA 16, Madden 18, NBA 2K17, NBA 2K19, NBA 2K16, one Switch game, Octopath Traveler, some DS games with their cases. We have Brain Age, uh, Call of Duty, World at War, Cars Race Orama, Lego Indiana Jones, and Scribble Knots. For the Wii U, we have Rayman Legends. This is the GameStop cover variant, a little harder to find. Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival, Sing Party, and Lego Movie. And then for N64, we have Super Mario 64, another copy. Battle Tanks, NASCAR 99, WCW Mayhem, another copy. FIFA 64, Xena Warrior Princess, Warzone, another copy of Mayhem, and another Warzone. For the Wii, we have Guitar Hero Aerosmith, Your Shape, Wii Fit Plus, Wii Sports, Twilight Princess, Skyward Sword, uh, Legendary Adventures, DJ Hero, Just Dance 3, Disney Princess, Just Dance 2, and Call of Duty Black Ops. For PlayStation 3, we have Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag. Battlefield 3 Limited Edition, Star Ocean Last Hope International, Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, Skate 2, Guitar Hero Metallica, Guitar Hero Aerosmith, and Madden NFL 12. And for GameCube, we have Top Gun, Combat Zones, Cabela's Big Game Hunter 2005, NASCAR Thunder 2003, Cabela's Outdoor Adventures, another Top Gun, Shark Tale, FIFA 06, NBA Live, some disc-only games here, NCAA Football 2003, MVP Baseball 2004, NBA Live 2004, Sonic Mega Collection, Madden 2002, Medal of Honor Frontline, All-Star Baseball 2002, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2, Turok Evolution, 
uh, disc discs only because it's a two disc game of Enter the Matrix, Jerry McGrath Supercross World, and NBA Live 2003. There's so much to go through. I'm like I'm maybe halfway done. Uh, PlayStation Two. We have there's some good stuff in here. We have Prism, Chapter One, The Dark Unicorn. We have Arcana Heart. We have Grow Lancer, Heritage of War, Limited Edition. Very awesome. Magna Carta, Tears of Blood, Deluxe Box Set. Also super cool. Uh, Guitar Hero Aerosmith, Namco Museum 50th Anniversary, and Guitar Hero 3. And then NES, we have Zelda 2, Marble Madness, Kings of the Beach, Mario Bros. Duck Hunt Track Meet, Monopoly, Jordan vs. Bird, and Goonies 2. I'm kind of getting the feeling that I might have shown some of this stuff on Monday, so if I did, I do want to apologize. Um, here we go. PS1 long box. We have NBA in the zone. A couple copies. NFL game day. NBA shootout with a big is that a corn sticker on there. Uh, ESPN extreme games. NHL face off. Top Gun fire at will. Uh, goal storm. Two copies. No manuals on those, though. I wanted one of them, but <laughs> I want them complete. Gex. NFL Game Day, Cyber Speed, Destruction Derby, Zero Divide, Bust a Move 2, NBA Shootout, another copy of Cyber Speed, Agile Warrior, and Destruction Derby, another one. And see if I can push these out of the way. <laughs> There's just so much stuff, it's hard to get to anything. Okay. Genesis, one Genesis game, Sonic 3, and then we have a big stack of Master System. We have Great Baseball, Reggie Jackson Baseball, Hang On Safari Hunt, Great Golf, Great Golf, Great Baseball, Great Baseball, Great Football, Monopoly, Hang On Safari Hunt, Shanghai, Monopoly, Great Basketball, Reggie Jackson Baseball, Hang On Safari Hunt, and Great Basketball. Nothing too special in there. We have some Sega CD and some Sega Saturn. We have ESPN Baseball Tonight, Prize Fighter, Joe Montana's NFL Football, NFL's Greatest, uh, San Francisco versus Dallas. I've never seen that one before. Trivial Pursuit, uh, PGA Tour 97, couple copies. NFL 97, couple copies. NHL All Star Hockey, uh, NHL Power Play 96, NHL All Star Hockey, PGA 97, Worldwide Soccer couple copies. World Series Baseball, a couple copies. <laughs> NFL Quarterback Club 97, and Quarterback Attack. And then another stack we have, a really good one here, is Dreamcast, this whole stack. There are some Japanese imports in here as well. So we have NFL 2K. There's one, two, three. This is Okay, this this is the wrong manual. This is NFL 2K, but the the manual is 2K2. So is the disc. It has the wrong case. We need to fix that. Uh, but there's just a bunch of copies of NFL 2K, <laughs> like a lot of them. And then NFL 2K1. There's a few copies of that as well. <laughs> and then NFL 2K2. Okay, so this is the correct case for that, but it doesn't have a manual. So we'll make a complete one out of that. Then we'll have a, a disc-only copy. Um, Army Man Sarge's Heroes, 18-wheeler, World Series Baseball 2002. And we have Japanese Power Stone 2, Japanese Air, Japanese Happy Lesson, King of Fighters Japanese, Japanese Angel Present, Japanese Samba de Amigo, Caesar's Palace 2000, I don't know why they put the tag like that, but NBA 2K, um, there's a couple of those. Striker Pro 2000, Virtua Athlete 2000, I've never seen that one. I might need to keep that one. <laughs> NFL Quarterback Club 2000, Speed Devils Online Racing, a web browser, TNN Hardcore Heat, NBA 2K1, T-Off, Sega Marine Fishing, NFL 2K1, Hidden and Dangerous, uh, Typing of the Dead, Japanese. Sonic Adventure, Japanese. Space Channel 5, Japanese. Pen Pen, uh, tri, it's like Trisalon something, Japanese. Uh, Shitoku Battle something, Japanese. 
White Illumination Japanese, Echo the Dolphin Japanese, and Super Producers something Japanese. So I gotta fix that one, and then I wanna keep that one. <laughs> um, Super Nintendo. We have a bunch of stuff here. We have Top Gear, NBA Live 95, Bulls vs. Blazers, Troy Aikman Football, Mario Paint, John Madden Football, uh, Tecmo NBA Basketball, Super Scope 6, Jeopardy, Madden 97, Vegas Stakes, Foreman For Real. That is... Oh, this is Super Mario All-Star? Super Mario World uh, combo cart. That sucks. Oh, N64 game in there. NFL Quarterback Club. Wordtress, Caesar's Palace, Pinball, Wheel of Fortune, Zoop, Super Scope, dropped it, Bulls vs. Blazers, Madden 94, and Super Play Action Football. And then PSP is a gigantic stack. A couple Vita games on the top there that were traded in today, which are Need for Speed Most Wanted and Dungeon Hunter Alliance. Whew. Okay, PSP time. I'm just going to grab a stack off the top. We'll start with this. Lots of movies in here, too. SOCOM, US, U.S. Navy SEALs, Fireteam Bravo, Fireteam Bravo 3, never seen that one. Star Wars, Clone Wars, Republic Heroes, Saw, awesome. Uh, Dead in Breakfast, Never heard of that movie. Lords of Dogtown, Animal House, Chronicles of Narnia, Wedding Crashers. Um, this is Entourage, Disc 1 and 2, complete first season. That's kind of weird. Starship Troopers, NFL in just one play, Kiss of the Dragon, Teddy Bear Crisis. I was looking at this one at uh, Tappers yesterday. They had a sealed copy. Uh, the Replacement Killers, Another Animal House, Dogma, Without a Paddle. And then the rest of them here, we have Assault on Precinct 13, uh, Miami Vice, Online Chess Kingdoms, Transformers the Game, Little Big Planet, Reflex MX vs. ATV, I dropped a Tron Evolution, Motorstorm, Arctic Edge, G-Force, Lumen, Lumens or Lumines, I, I've heard it both ways, I don't know, 2, uh, Kills on Liberation, Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories, oh, this reminds me, we also had... A, excuse me, we had a Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories that was loose, but uh, someone came in and bought that. They saw it on the website. Uh, Luminous Puzzle Fusion, MX First ATV on the Edge, uh, Brooktown High, never heard of that game either. Uh, Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter 2, Fire Team Bravo, Fire Team Bravo, Siphon Filter Dark Mirror, Coded Arms, Rock Band Unplugged. See, like that price tag needs to come off. Um, Golden Compass. That one's more than our price tag, so it should be fine. <laughs> uh, Hot Shots Golf Open Tee. I'll have to have the guys, when they're putting these out, look for tags and take them off. Tiger Woods 07. The Con. Lego Batman. Stacked. NBA Live 09. MLB 06. And MLB 09. And then, I think all we have left from all this stuff here is PS1. I saved it for last, not because it has the best stuff. I think the PS2 pile is the best, but PS1 has the most. We've got three big stacks here. So we have Razor Racing, Namco Museum, Madden 99, uh, Critical Depth, Road Rash 3D. Some of these are, you know, no manual. Um, NHL Face Off, Wheel of Fortune, Frogger 2, Kiss Pinball, Matt Hoffman's Pro BMX, awesome game, Cyber Tiger, Jeopardy, NFL Game Day, Shell Shock, uh, RC Stunt Copter. This is the making of Lunar 2 disc, um, so it's not the game, it's just the one, like, kind of bonus disc that comes with it. Who Wants to Be a Millionaire 3rd Edition? The X Files is the PAL import. Caesar's Palace 2000, Fisherman's Bait, uh, Roll Cage Limited Edition. Includes additional soundtrack. Is it on the disc? There's definitely no soundtrack in here. I don't know. I'll put that with this one so I can look into it. Jared, Something Racing, Sorcerer's Maze, Grudge Warriors, Madden 98, Bottom of the Ninth, Two Extreme, Maximum Force, Tetris Plus, and this one is just manual and disc. Uh, Time Commander, or Commando, Dukes of Hazard, Small Soldiers, which is an awesome movie. Uh, Championship Bass, WWF Warzone. And then we have Gran Turismo 2. Discworld 2, which is a really awesome one, but 
it's missing the back cover of the manual. Um, so Nathan did trade this one in, but he got an upgrade for his personal copy. So just, it should be marked as poor, but that's why. NBA Live 97, Rush Hour, Sports Superbike 2, IHRA Drag Racing, NCAA Game Breaker, Knockout Kings, MLB 2001, NFL Game Day 2002, March Madness, Madden, Thunder Truck Rally, NBA Live, NBA Live. This case needs to be cleaned. That's why the sticker is like that. I guess same with this one. NCAA Final 499, a couple of those. Knockout Kings, NFL Extreme, Ford Racing, Triple Play, Andretti Racing, PGA Tour 98, Final 497, NBA Lab 97, Detective Barbie. This is a PAL one or something. Yeah, PAL one. Three Extreme, Grand Tour Racing, NFL Game Day, NBA Live, NFL Game Day, Olympic Soccer, NBA Live, NBA Shootout, NBA Live, NBA Live, Two Extreme, Knockout Kings, NBA Shootout, ESPN Snowboarding, Tiger Woods, and a demo. I don't know why. I don't know who... Well, I guess Abby put these in because she did his trade, if this is from his trade. But all these demos and stuff, I usually just put them in at 99 cents whenever I put them in. <laughs> but I've noticed that Abby's put a few higher and they continue to sell, so I guess I shouldn't be complaining. March Madness 98, Cool Borders 4, Rogue Trip, Turbo Prop Racing. Um, what is that, Tall Infinity? I don't think I've ever heard of that one. Looks like a game Ryan would want. Gran Turismo. Oh, manual popped out. Manual's messed up. I know the Abbey got all these conditions marked properly. So, another Grand Turismo, really bad. Tonka Space Station, Casper, Friends Around the World, Tarzan, NBA Live 98, Space Jam, uh, Sorcerer's Maze, Legend of Dragoon, Riven, sequel to Mist, Driver 2, Buzz Lightyear, uh, Saltwater Sport Fishing, NASCAR Rumble, Tomb Raider 2, Worms World Party, Soviet Strike, NFL Game Day, Madden, Test Drive, NFL Extreme, and some soccer game. <sighs> All right, that was a lot of stuff, but that's not everything, because like I said, there was one more trade-in that came in that is a collection. Let's go take a look. So first up, there were a couple other things over here, which I do think came in today. Um, we have Luigi's Mansion, a couple copies, and a Smash Bros., Guitar Hero Live for the Wii U, Mario Kart 7, a couple more Master System games, and then there's a Dreamcast um, microphone, which is the $35 one, and then the fishing controller is the $39 one, and then we have a Dreamcast collection, guys. So, I did put these in order of price, so we're going from the cheapest first. We have, and this is not the only stack, just so you know, <laughs> we have three piles. We have NFL 2K1. World Series Baseball, 2K1, NBA, 2K1, Ultimate Fighting Championship, Tennis, 2K2, MTV Sports Skateboarding, Virtua Tennis, Tomb Raider, The Last Revelation, Sega Smash Pack, Volume 1, NHL, 2K2, Choo Choo Rocket, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2, Toy Commander, Crazy Taxi, Metropolis Street Racer, Space Channel 5, Soul Calibur, and Fantasy Star Online. So, before we continue on, I just want to say that anytime we get Dreamcast stuff, it sells incredibly quickly. We have a customer who lives in Israel who is going for the complete U.S. set, and he buys every single game we post that he does not have. So, with that in mind, if you see anything in here that you're interested in, I would try to grab them ASAP. Because these are not going to last. On to our second stack here. Like I said, these are going in order of price. So we're, I mean, look how many we have to go. And we're starting at $40. So they're just going to get more and more expensive. So we have Nightmare Creatures 2. Shenmue. Blue Stinger. Dead or Alive 2. Kiss Psycho Circus, The Nightmare Child. Ooga Booga. Sonic Adventure. House of the Dead 2. Crazy Taxi 2, Seaman, um, normally we would probably put this with the microphone, but it didn't come with like the outer box and everything, so we just decided to separate them, Time Stalkers, Legacy of Cain, Soul Reaver, Resident Evil, Code Veronica, Silver, Virtual On, Cyber Troopers, 
Jet Grind Radio, Grandia 2, Gauntlet Legends, Street Fighter Alpha 3, Record of Lotus War, Marvel vs. Capcom, that's a weird price, I would have just put it at $89.99 personally, Resident Evil 3 Nemesis, and Dynamite Cop, but like I said, we're not done, we have one more stack. It's a smaller stack though. We have four more games. We have Sonic Adventure 2, which, holy crap, has this gotten expensive. I did not know it was this much. I knew that there were both Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 had gone up, but I had no idea it was this much. That seems crazy. And then we have Skies of Arcadia. Super awesome game. I only played the GameCube version, but I know that they're pretty much the same. But yeah, I really enjoyed that game. Then we have... Marvel vs. Capcom 2, super awesome, but not the most expensive one here. Last game from this awesome collection is Project Justice. This is a game we have had traded in, or we've gotten like three or four times, which I'm really, really surprised about because we just never really see Dreamcast stuff. But with this amazing collection here that we got traded in today, plus all the stuff from Nathan, our Dreamcast selection is going to be like... 60 or 70 games which it's never been anywhere close to that size so that is really really cool i'm super happy about that i also wanted to let you guys know that i was working on getting some of my collection stuff entered in to the system today so i just did all of these in television games i guess i can show you the side that actually has the the writing but there's all these only one of them is really really special and that is where is it this one here diner it's like 150 bucks but all the rest are pretty cheap i also did my 3do collection some of these are pretty expensive um the neuro dancer seems like it's pretty rare and then all of the atari 2600 stuff as well um so i did all that i didn't do the vectrex stuff yet but i'll be doing that tomorrow most likely um I also got these two Optimus Primes in that I found at the outlet. Somebody was asking about one of those a while ago, uh, but I got those two in. Um, the uh, There's a couple other little random things that I, that I put in, um, but we have a package to open as well. So it's going to be a cool one. Let's go to it. This package is from one of our suppliers, the one we get the, the new video games from, and I placed this order... Um, well, well, I had placed the order, um, probably three or four days ago, but I didn't pay for it until we were actually on our trip. Um, so Tuesday I paid for it. I get here today and it's already here, which is really, really cool. Oh, I need to grab the invoice from out of here. And this stuff should be on the website probably tomorrow at some point. I don't think I'm going to do these tonight because I don't want to stay any longer than I have to. Uh, but we got a very big restock of Switch games and some new titles as well. Um, and a few other things mixed in. So, first up, a couple people had been asking and we got Mario Golf for the Nintendo Switch. There should be, I think, 10 copies in here total. Um, so that might, oh, there's another one right there. Yeah, so there's one more in here somewhere. Uh, but we got Mario Golf. We also got, and this one's pretty cool. Oh, there's the other Mario Golf. We also got 10 copies of Legend of Mana. Now, this plays in English, but this is an import. Um, from what I understand, this is not getting a physical release in North America. But it's easy enough to import them. So we got 10 copies of that one as well. Super awesome. I grabbed I grabbed three copies also for PS4. I do think that Switch is going to sell better for us, but I got a, a few PS4 ones just in case anyone wanted them. And then we also got Alex Kidd in Miracle World DX. We have three copies here for PS4. We have... Whoa. Those almost fell. <laughs> We have three copies for Xbox One slash Xbox Series X. And then 
We also have three copies for PlayStation 5. First time we're, we're ordering PS5 games for the store. And we also got 10 copies for the Nintendo Switch. So I will probably hold on to one of those, so we'll have nine. Um, there's another Legend of Mana in there. And then this game, I grabbed only two of them uh, because the wholesale price is pretty close to what we would sell them for. So I'm keeping one. I got one to sell. Um, if anyone wants these, I guess just let me know and I can order more. But that is Ministry of Broadcast for the Nintendo Switch. And it comes in like a big box here. I don't know what it comes with. It doesn't say. It might be like a steel book or something. I'm really not sure. But I grabbed two of them, like I said, one to keep one to sell, so we'll have one available. And then everything else in here are Nintendo Switch games. And we basically, I basically just wanted to restock on everything we're out of. So if I turn you guys this way, you can see our Nintendo Switch section. This top row right here, that's Sonic Forces, but then, and then Cloud Punk, but all the rest, that top shelf is supposed to be all of like the first party AAA titles. We have Animal Crossing, Mario Party, Paper Mario, Mario Rabbids, Mario U, the Mario Bros U Deluxe, and then Pokemon Snap and Mario 3D All-Stars. That's all we have left for new copies of like those type of titles. So I restocked on everything. So I got basically two copies of each. We have two Animal Crossings. We have two Captain Toad Treasure Trackers, two Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, Two Dragon Quest, two Hyrule Warriors uh, Definitive Edition, two Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity, two Kirby Star Allies. I'm gonna stop saying two, they're all two. Uh, Luigi's Mansion 3, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games Tokyo 2020. We've never had this one in, but I figured if I make any order, I might as well grab them. I'm not gonna get like 10 of them though, because I don't think those will sell too well. <clears throat> Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. Paper Mario Origami King. Pikmin 3 Deluxe. Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. Pokemon Shield. Pokemon Sword, Pokken Tournament DX, Splatoon 2, Super Mario 3D World and Bowser's Fury, Super Mario Maker 2, Super Mario Odyssey. This is the number one game that we get requested here at the store and we never have them. Super Mario Party, I know we still have, oh my god, how many of these do we have? Okay, there's four up here, so I guess we have six copies of that one now. I probably shouldn't have ordered that one. Uh, two copies of Smash Bros. Breath of the Wild. This is the second most requested game. And then also Link's Awakening. Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. And lastly, Yoshi's Crafted World. So just having these games in stock is incredibly important. We already have the best Switch selection in all of Vancouver. Um, GameStop doesn't have this many games, and the other two local game stores have nowhere near this, this type of selection for Switch either. So that's one thing that I'm really trying to do, is just to keep the best Switch inventory in stock. Um, so getting stuff like this in, I think is very, very important. People ask for these types of games all the time, and if we have a new one, they might not want to, they might want a used one, obviously, because it's going to be cheaper, but if we only have a new one, they might go for that, and just having them in stock is better than not having them at all, obviously. Even if people are looking for pre-owned copies, it's better to just have them just, just in case. So, I'm going to have to do some rearranging on the wall here uh, tomorrow to fit these. As you can see, it's pretty full. We got one gap there, one gap over there. And I guess I could fit a couple up here, but they're not all going to fit um, just, you know, without moving some stuff around. We do have some things that are like, there's three super trench attacks, three stacks of them here. So we can condense some of that down, put some stuff in the back stock, make some room. Um, we do have some pre-owned Mario Odysseys because that guy, that guy traded a bunch in from like the garage sale finds. So we have like four pre-owned copies as well right now, but um 
yeah this is just super cool i love getting this new kind of this new stuff in um and yeah hopefully you guys are happy about that as well um so i don't really know what else i have to film for you guys today um i think that's pretty much it i still have to do my ebay stuff i gotta film that portion of the video and then i also need to uh ship the ebay stuff Devin shipped all but one of our orders today and i know after he left we got like three or four more um so if if your item is not shipped by the time you see this video it will either be going out saturday or more likely monday but we'll see what happens um but yeah i think that's going to be it for today guys thank you so much for watching today's video really hope you enjoyed this extremely long vlog i know some people really really like them some people don't but you know i'm not i'm not you know aiming for a specific length for these videos usually they end up being you know about 20 minutes but you know um i just kind of film whatever's going on and today was an extremely busy day you know going hunting with with uh, nathan having him leave and then having packages to open going through nathan's trade-in going through the dreamcast collection there's just a lot to today uh i woke up much earlier than normal i got up at 9 30 this morning normally i'm getting up at 11 30 so got up early staying extra late like i said when i first started filming these clips after abby left it was already 10 p.m i don't even know what time it is now can't be that much later though Ten, just turned 10 30 so i still have some more stuff to do like i said before i head home so i'm probably going to be getting home at about 11 30 which you know whatever <laughs> It's fine because I can sleep in tomorrow. But uh, yeah, that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to smack the like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe. And we'll see you again tomorrow.